Previously on Pokemon Sword, you can protect yourself from status effects by using Obstruct. It shakes way more when I just use Pokeball, to be honest. And there we go. <laughs> we managed to catch it with just a Pokeball. Psycho Cut. Psychic version. The special version of Psychic. <laughs> Somewhat. Use your thirst at the target with blades formed by psychic power. Critical hits land more easily. This huge surge of red light and then wild Pokemon just started dynamaxing around me. Raisin as you like. But all I could ever ask of you would be that you join me in the greatest final match ever. I'll do my part to make that happen by keeping everybody's future safe. So you just keep on doing your part by winning your way through the gym challenge. Hello guys, welcome back for another episode of Pokemon Sword. So before we go challenge gym leader Raihan, I'm going to have Sir Zing, our Weezings, now named the Sir Zing. We're gonna have him learn the move Paint Split first. And how are we going to do that? Okay, so during my adventures in the wild area, before the previous episode, I was able to catch a coughing which has a move which is the egg move paint split. This particular coughing was glowing and I believe this is one of those wild Pokemon which has three IVs. Basically when you see a Pokemon glowing in the wild area and when you catch it, it has it may have a it may it may have an egg move or egg move or three IVs or two IVs. So yeah, I'm going to use the Pokemon Nursery to pass this egg move to Sir Zim. But it must be the same exact species, so to do that, I will have to evolve this coughing first. So we are going to give it your candies until it gets to level 35. And let's see if it's going to let's see if it's going to work. Hmm, 3,000. Let's try giving it... 5? Okay, level 34. Let's learn the move. Sludge Bomb. So I'll just replace Sludge. Let's give it one more experience candy M. It's going to evolve. And we have another Weezing. Let's learn the move double hit. Nope. Alright. I think we are all set. We have Sir Zing here. And we also have the Weezing here which has the move paint split. Also cleared one slot of Sir Zing's move. So it would have, so he would have space for the move pain split. Okay, let's see. So according to my research, it doesn't matter if both Pokemon are the same gender. What matters is that both Pokemon should be of the exact same species. So let's see how it's gonna work. Hmm, okay. Everything okay, let's see. They seem to get along alright. So how are they going to pass the move to one another? Hmm, let's try... Okay, I think we just got an egg. Let's see. An egg, okay, let's take it. Coughing egg. Hold up. Hmm. Wonder how long does it take to pass an egg move? This egg will go here first. Let's check if Sir Zing already has paint split.
Wait, I got both. Anyway. Same price. Let's see. Okay. Finally have Pain Split for Sir Zing. This will help him become bulkier. When it comes to battling. Should be good. Anyway, mission accomplished. I'm going to send the Wizzing back here. And Grod back to the party. Okay. We're all set now. Colossal with the Shell Bell. I will also use Colossal to set up to set up Stealth Rock at the beginning of the match. We have safety goggles for Gyarados because according to the League card, this particular gym this particular gym leader likes to use weather effects, so it may use sandstorm, etc. I'm having Mr. Rhyme hold light clay since he has light screen, or rather reflect. He has reflect. And then Dam Duck. Dummy Duck. Uh Lick as usual. Used to be Sir Duck, by the way. Just change it to Dummy Duck for since it's a female. It's a female Sir Fetched. And as suggested by one of my viewers. And then we have Sir Zing and Grod. Should be good. And let's fly back to Hammerlock. By the way, I got another copy of Leftovers from a berry tree. I was surprised myself. I wasn't expecting to get a leftover from it from any berry tree. Long gym challenge nearing its end, I see. Are you ready to face Hammerlock Gym and its leader, the Dragon User Raihan? Dragon User. I'm thinking if Sir Fetch is okay to use or should I switch to Berserker? Dragon user. Hmm. Well, fighting type. Anyway, should be good. Let's go. But the Wolf. Dragon type. Okay, so what's going to be the gym challenge? Let's see, how many gym challengers are left? Not even 10, eh? Alright then. Time to explain the great Raihan's gym mission. The rules are simple. All you've got to do is defeat three gym trainers that I personally trained in double battles. Okay, double battles. The gym challenge is meant to be, well, challenging, wouldn't you say? Naturally, there aren't too many gym challengers who can make it this far. And that's why I provide a format where you can really show off the brilliant combinations you and your Pokemon should be capable of. It's probably more than enough out of me. It's time for someone else to take the spotlight. Come on, Sebastian, you'll be first. Um, I may need to switch. But okay. That's me, Sebastian. Leader Raihan has taught me two things. First, that dragon types are ferociously powerful. Second, I need to create an advantage on the battlefield to fully utilize that power. Okay, battle directly. We have Colossal that's our first Pokemon. Okay, this may be bad. This may be a bad matchup for Colossal. Because of that Pelipper. Wonder if it has Drizzle. Okay. It's going to boost power of water type moves. Hmm. Not sure if I should keep Colossal here. I think we should switch. Uh huh. Switch to Grod? Gyarados should be good. Mr. Rhyme. Yeah, let's switch to Mr. Rhyme instead. Colossal won't do well. 
and then set up Dragon Dance for Gyarados. Water Pulse. Okay, good switch. And Dragon Balls to Gyarados. It's dealing a lot of damage. I guess for now I should just slack off. For Mr. Rhyme. And then... Use Ice Fang against Sligu. Alright, one hit thanks to get thanks to Dragon Dance. Okay, I need you guys to level up more. I need Mr. Rhyme's bulk here. Tell them that's going to increase the opposing team's speed. Okay, so this particular move speed, this particular move freeze dry is super effective against Spellifer because freeze dry, freeze dry has a special, what do you call this, a special ability where it is super effective against water type Pokemon. It's the only ice type move that is super effective against water type Pokemon. The others deal not very effective damage. No rest in between, I assume. Yeah, no rest in between. Okay, I can switch. Guess I'm gonna let Gyarados hold Amulet Coin first. Did I place it on my bag? I forgot. I don't think I placed it on my bag. Mmm, other items. Yep, I don't have amulet coin with me. Well, should be okay. Let me restore Gyarados HP first. Where's Super Potion? Anyway, Mr. Rhyme should do well since it has Reflect and... Let's try this combination. Dam Duck and Mr. Rhyme. Gym Trader Camilla. Nine Tails and Turtonator. Okay. Not the best matchup for Mr. Rhyme. Drought. It's going to power up fire type moves. Mr. Rhyme is not in a good spot right now, so let me switch. I'm sure they are planning to use fire type moves on Mr. Rhyme, so I will switch to Colossal to activate its ability Steam Engine, which is going to boost its speed stat. And I'm going to stay with Dam Duck and use Swords Dance. Hmm, level 45, 46, yeah. Or I don't think I still I don't think I need to set up swords then since if I switch to Colossal I can just keep on using Rock Slide. And let's just go with Brick Break. Brick Break right off the bat. Wait, what is that? I think set up a shell trap. What? Oh, very nice. I wasn't expecting that. It's going to reduce her fetch attack drastically. Shell trap. Oh boy. Okay, thanks to that. Plus the speed rose drastically. 
And we're gonna go with Grass Slide. Hope you flinch as one of them. Okay. Flame thrower to them. Oh well. We did well. We did well, dumb duck. Forgot about Willow Wisp. Mm hmm. We have Drought, so. Let's go with Gyarados. So I think Colossal can already sweep this two with Rock Slide. So just in case, let's use Waterfall. Okay. Treasurator has still an HP. Probably 5 HP or 10 HP. Based on the amount. Okay, so Waterfall is not... Waterfall didn't deal super effective damage against Sertonator. So it's Fire-type and what? I really have no idea what's... what that other Pokemon's type is. I will need survives. I will need to revive Dam Duck. How do I read this? Dam Duck? Dam Duck. <laughs> uh, super Potion. Okay, so first we had Drizzle, Drought. I guess Sandstorm is next. Sandstorm or Hail. So Dam Duck should be good there. Let's go with this team again. Abu Maslow and Hakomo. Okay, heal. It's gonna be heal. Or a summon of hail due to Abomasno's no warning ability. Okay, so Mr. Rhyme. We'll cast Reflect first and then use first impression to Abomasno. It's going to be super effective because it's a grass type. Grass type and nice type. Hmm, guess I should have just used freeze dry directly. Shadow Claw. Super effective. Akoma is a dragon type Pokemon, so we can use Freeze Dry to deal a super effective damage. Okay, this one's easy. Okay, finally, we have Psychic for Mr. Rhyme. I will replace Psybeam for it. I wonder if the battle against Raihan will be a double battle. Come on, time to enter the gym stadium. You've earned the right to face me yourself. Okay, let me heal everyone first. Every HP matters. Dragon type user. Let's have Colossal in front. So I can set up Stealth Rock right off the bat. Mm-hmm. Damn the Mr. Rhyme Gyarados. Okay, should be good. 
Should be ready now. Are you ready, guys? Last gym challenge. Or rather, last gym leader to beat. To get our final badge. Finally, a challenger made it. I've been waiting for someone to battle. Though I've got to admit, I didn't think it would be you. But I guess I should have expected no less from my Pokemon trainer that Leon saw promising. And you aim to defeat Leon? Do you have any idea just how high a hurdle that is? As his greatest rival, I guess that I, Raihan, will have to show you. Gym leader Raihan doesn't simply control the weather. He also seeks 2 on 2 battles. He must be prepared for any situation against a foe like him. Okay, so we're gonna do a double battles. Wasn't expecting this one. I should have switched some of my moves. Okay, Eagleith and Flygon. Okay, we should be good. Eagleith is, is a rock type Pokemon, and Flygon is. Dragon and ground type. Let's see what can we do. We're gonna go with Stealth Rock first. And then for Zamdok. First impression. Only works first time. Like you start the battle. Hmm. I'm thinking of going with Swords Dance first. Nah, it, first impression will be a whist, so... Nah, let's go with Swords Dance. Set up right off the bat. Breaking Swipe. Wait, uh-huh. Not too familiar with that move. Attack fell. Oh boy. So it's just okay that we use Swords Dance. Body press. Steel type? Oh no no. Ground type? Water type? No. Definitely not water type. Anyway, uh huh. Against fly, gun or giggle leaf. These two moves are not very effective to be honest. But I guess we can use Star Shot against Flygon. And then Brick Break against Giga Leaf. Another breaking swipe. Just neutralize them ducks. Attack stat. Okay, another brick brick should beat Gigalith. Okay, Flygon became weaker to fire. That's good. Sun Tomb. Okay, I think Colossal is gonna faint. He's still holding on. Wait, never mind. So much for that star shot. Mr. Rhyme, Gardos. I think we can use Sir Zing. Or Reflect. Nah. Well, Gyarados can also do as well, since it will... Nah. I think I should first defeat Flygon before setting up a Dragon Dance. Well, I have a feeling Zamduck's going to faint soon. Maybe after Zamduck, I can set up... I can set up Gyarados. So let's use Sir Zing first. Okay, so we can beat Flygon with a single strange steam or probably two, and then use Brick Break against Gigalith. Okay, Guard is now level 47. Still wing against. Wait, okay. Super effective. Alright, because. Sir Zing is a fairy type. 
really prepared, huh? Okay. Leftovers are just going to restore the damage Sandstorm is going to deal. Every time. Sandaconda. We should finish Flygon now. So... I will have... Surzing use Willow Wisp first to Sandaconda. And then... Wait. That is a ground type. Anyway. And then brick break to Flygon. Should finish it. Okay, we're good now. He's down to his last two Pokemon. Oh boy. Glare to whom? Okay, it's okay. I will need to use Pain Split if ever. Need some prediction. Um, the Raludon. Steel type. Is he planning to use Dynamax one of his Pokemon? Anyway, let me use Willow Wisp first to Duraludon. Or should we use Pain Split? What's the best move to do here? Should I Dynamax Wheezing? No, I won't be able to use Pain Split if I Dynamax Wheezing. Hmm. Okay, I have a feeling it's going to Dynamax Sandaconda. Because this Pokemon has a different Dynamax form. Okay, so I guess we can use Duraludon. Or we can use Willow Wisp on Duraludon. Or Pain Split on Sandaconda. Who is faster, Sir Zing or Sandaconda? I think Sandaconda is faster. Okay, let's predict. Not sure what's going to happen, but whatever. Then use Brick Break to Duraludon. I knew it! Okay. Sandaconda? It's going to be Sandaconda. Okay, no! It's not Sandaconda! Oh no! <laughs> I made a mistake. I made a mistake for the pain split. Max Steel Spike. Ah, uh, no missing! Oh boy. Definitely wasn't expecting that one. Okay, so this Pokemon is a steel type. Is it going to faint Dam Duck? Okay. Oh Can you use Brick Break? No, oh, good. We haven't even Dynamax any of our Pokemon. Okay, so I think that Pokemon is really fast, so we should aim to reduce its attack stat. Should we go for Gyarados? Or Grodd? If I Dynamax Grodd, he's dry, reflects lack of. If I Dynamax Gyarados, then we can change the tide. Hmm. I think I need to Dynamax as well now, so what should we use? Gyarados for the Intimidate, I guess, but I really want to use Grodd. Well, we can use Max Overgrow. Hmm. Let's go with our starter. 
May not be the best decision, but this is the last gym leader. So we should go with Grodd. Anyway, I think we can feint Duraludon with max overgrowth, so let's go. And then final brick break to Sandaconda. Really good job from Damidoc. Just proves it just proved how strong Surfetch is. Especially with the leak. Okay, who's gonna need to move first? Okay, we have Grod to move first. Should be able, should be enough to faint it, right? <gasps> oh boy, it's not enough. I think I made a mistake. <laughs> Perhaps I should have used uh Max Max Darkness. Okay, it hit Grod instead. Glare to whom? Oh boy. Nice. Sand speed. Another sandstorm. Hold on. Okay, thanks to the Grassitarian, it restored the Pokemon's, the opposing Pokemon's HP. I'm not done yet. Guess we should just use Max Darkness. Max Darkness to Duraludon. And then break break to Santa Conda. It's going to move first. Should be Grod, right? Wait, what? Okay, that's fine. That's fine, that's fine. Fire fan. Just don't get paralyzed, okay? Oh boy! This RNG. Fine. It's time to use Gyarados. Time to send out Gyarados. And you are done Dynamaxing, right? Intimidate will reduce both Pokemon's attacks at by one stage. And you are done Dynamaxing. Should end the battle here now. Max Overgrowth. Max Darkness against Duraludon. And then... Waterfall to Sandaconda. Oh, come on, really? Ooh, don't, don't die, Gardos. Okay. Finally beat Sandaconda. Really? This paralysis is insane. Rod is also done Dynamaxing. Drum beating. Noble Roar. Just go with Nahoff. I have a feeling Gardos is gonna faint. It hits again. Oh, okay. Oh boy. Seriously. 
G what are you doing? What? <laughs> what is this RNG? Seriously, what is this RNG? I'm down to my last Pokemon. Guess I should have should have brought um Berserker. Anyway, we're already here. Just one more to pull through. Who's gonna move first? Crap. Come on, Mr. Rhyme. You can finish it. Okay, finally. Finally. So much for that paralysis grud. What were you doing? And at least we're finally done. Finally done. With the 8th gym. Our final gym. I might have lost, but I still look good. Maybe I should snap a quick selfie. That was really tough. Wasn't expecting a double battle. In the aftermath of the first battle, I feel as pure and refreshed as when the sky clears after a storm. What can I possibly say? Calling myself Leon's rival, it seems I had grown quite conceited for someone who can't even claim the title of champion. Overconfident in both myself and my team. I'll give you what you want then. The proof of your victory. The Dragon Badge. And now catch Pokemon of any level. Collected all of the gym badges from the Galar region. Now, win your way through the semi-finals and finals for your chance to challenge Leon. You must. You owe us that much at least for beating us in battle here today. And we are done with all the gym challenges, guys. We've collected all of the gym badges. At last, it's time for the Champion Cup. I look forward to seeing how you do, how you all do in battle. Hey, Kindred! Sorry, soldier, up, but there was something I forgot. First off, as a sign of my respect, here, TM99. It contains the move Breaking Swipe. It just swings its tough tail wildly and attacks opposing Pokemon. This also lowers their attack stats. Hmm. It's the equivalent of Snarl. Secondly, here's the Dragon type gym uniform, the mark of true strength. Thank you. You've completed the gym challenge. Good on you, kid. Now prove your strength to the whole region of the Champion Cup. Ryan, I'm here to see just how good you are. There you are, Leon's little brother. Don't worry, I'll give you a battle that'll make you want to quit the gym challenge altogether. I've tried out lots of different strategies and I've made up my mind about how I want to battle. I'm not gonna lose. I'm gonna beat you, and Kindred, and even Lee. If you're feeling up to it, you might want to go train hard in the wild area. And we are done. But first, let's head off to... Let's heal our Pokemon first. Hey there, Kindred! You gave Raihan a good thrashing. And that means you've completed the gym challenge! Congratulations from the bottom of my heart. I really wish we could go celebrate, but I think there are some things we should talk over. About what, Sonia? That light that covered Hammerlock. It was just like the darkest day, where it said that giant Pokemon went on a rampage and almost destroyed the entire Galar region. It certainly seems to be that way, my dear. As you know, we Dynamax our Pokemon today using the energy from wishing stars that have fallen to us. But we still don't know how to fully control the energy behind Dynamaxing, or how the two heroes managed to do so. In fact, we're not even really sure who or what the two heroes actually were. The Legendary Sword and Shield. Sonia, my dearest, the lab code is yours now. Wait, what? <laughs> Are you sure, Gran? I still haven't finished the work you've assigned me. Think of this as something to help you finish that work. 
Oh, so Sonya is the new professor. Really looks good on her. <laughs> Should we call her Professor Sonya? Let's go with it. Looks great. <laughs> <laughs> the two heroes that protected the Galar region from the darkest day. In the legend of the sword and shield you just mentioned, it's up to you to figure out the truth behind it all. I know, Gran. I'll do what I can. You or Hop could be the one to take down Leon, and I don't want to miss that. Not to worry, you can count on me to take care of everything. Just focus on getting to Windon. Windon? Windon. Go on! Head to the station or you'll miss your train! Anyway, I'll see you, I guess. That was a really tough battle, to be honest. I think we would have... We would have done better if it was just single battle, but I wasn't prepared. My team wasn't prepared for doubles. But at least... Damn it up, did a number on them. So... Thank you. Anyway, that will be it for this episode, guys. Tough battle. Hope you enjoyed the double battle against Raihan. I will see you in the next episode. Thank you for watching.